Welcome to Rwanda Medical Academy. Today's lesson is about right lower quadrant pain differentials. Introduction. Right lower quadrant, RLQ, pain can be a perplexing symptom due to the myriad of potential causes nestled in the abdomen. This lesson delves into a mnemonic that aids in remembering these causes, appendicitis. Each letter stands for a different condition, providing a systematic approach to diagnosing RLQ pain. A stands for appendicitis and abscess. Appendicitis. It is an inflammation of the appendix, a small tube attached to the large intestine. Symptoms. Sudden pain that begins on the right side of the lower abdomen, loss of appetite, nausea, and fever. Diagnosis. Physical exam, blood tests, and imaging like an ultrasound or CT scan. Treatment. Surgical removal of the appendix, appendectomy. Let's now talk about the second A which stands for abscess. Abscess is a pocket of pus that can form in the abdomen due to an infection. Abscess symptoms include fever, pain, and a tender mass in the abdomen. Diagnosis. Ultrasound or CT scan may help. Treatment. Abscess treatment include antibiotic therapy and drainage of the abscess. P stands for PID, period and pancreatitis. Pelvic inflammatory disease, PID is an infection of the female reproductive organs. Symptoms. Pelvic pain, fever, discharge with an unpleasant odor, painful intercourse, painful urination. Diagnosis. Pelvic exam, swabs, and sometimes ultrasound. Treatment. It includes antibiotics therapy. Period pain, dysmenorrhea. It's the pain linked with menstrual periods. Symptoms. Cramping, lower abdomen pain, possibly with backache and thigh pain. Treatment options. Pain relievers, birth control pills, to lessen severity, exercise, and heating pads. Pancreatitis. It is an inflammation of the pancreas. Symptoms of pancreatitis. Upper abdominal pain radiating to the back, nausea, vomiting, fever. Diagnosis. Blood tests, abdominal ultrasound, and CT scan. Treatment. Hospitalization for fasting, fluids, and sometimes surgery. E stands for ectopic pregnancy and endometriosis. Ectopic pregnancy. It is a pregnancy located outside the womb, usually in a fallopian tube. Symptoms. Sharp RLQ or LLQ pain, vaginal bleeding, dizziness. Diagnosis. Pregnancy test, ultrasound. Treatment options include. Medication or surgery. Endometriosis. It's a condition where tissue similar to the lining inside the uterus grows outside the uterus. Symptoms. Pelvic pain, menstrual cramps, pain with intercourse. Diagnosis. Physical exam, ultrasound, laparoscopy. Treatment. Pain medication, hormone therapy, surgery. N stands for neoplasia. It's new, abnormal growth of tissue which can be benign or malignant. Symptoms. Depend on the location but may include a lump, abnormal bleeding, or no symptoms at all. Diagnosis. Imaging tests, biopsy. Treatment. Surgery, chemotherapy, radiation. D stands for diverticulitis. Inflammation or infection of small pouches that can form in the intestines, diverticula. Symptoms. Fever, nausea, a sudden pain on the left side of the abdomen. Diagnosis. CT scan, blood tests. Treatment. Rest diet changes, antibiotics, and sometimes surgery. I stands for intussusception. Definition. A condition where one part of the intestine slides into an adjacent part of the intestine. Symptoms. Sudden abdominal pain, current jelly, stool, vomiting, abdominal swelling. Diagnosis. Ultrasound, air enema. Treatment. Air or barium enema, surgery. C stands for Crohn's disease and cyst, ovarian. Crohn's disease. It's a type of inflammatory bowel disease that can affect any part of the gastrointestinal tract. Symptoms. Diarrhea, abdominal pain, bloody stool, fatigue. Diagnosis. Colonoscopy, imaging tests. Treatment. Medication, dietary changes, surgery. Ovarian cyst. Ovarian cyst is a fluid-filled sac within the ovary. Symptoms. Bloating, pelvic pain, painful intercourse. Diagnosis. Pelvic exam, ultrasound. Treatment. Watchful waiting, 
birth control pills, surgery. I stands for inflammatory bowel disease, IBD. It's a chronic inflammation of the digestive tract, including Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Symptoms. Diarrhea, abdominal pain, blood in stool, weight loss. Diagnosis. Colonoscopy, blood tests, imaging. Treatment. Medication, diet modification, surgery. T equals torsion, ovary. It is the twisting of the ovary that can cut off its blood supply. Symptoms. Sudden, severe pelvic pain, nausea, vomiting. Diagnosis. Ultrasound, sometimes surgery. Treatment. Immediate surgery to untwist or remove the ovary. I equals irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. A disorder affecting the large intestine, causing cramping, abdominal pain, bloating, gas, diarrhea, and constipation. Symptoms. Chronic abdominal pain, bloating, and changes in bowel habits. Diagnosis. Based on symptoms, ruled out by other conditions. Treatment. Diet changes, stress management, medication. S stands for stones, kidney, gallbladder. It's hard mineral deposits that form in the kidney or gallbladder. Symptoms. Sharp pain in the back or side, nausea, vomiting, changes in urine color. Diagnosis. Ultrasound, CT scan. Treatment. Pain management, drinking water, medication, sometimes surgery. Conclusion. Understanding RLQ pain involves a comprehensive approach to identify the underlying cause, utilizing the appendicitis, mnemonic. Each condition necessitates specific treatments and interventions. Accurate diagnosis is crucial for effective management and ensuring patient well-being. Remember, when in doubt, consult a medical professional to make the correct diagnosis and treatment plan. Thank you for learning. Join and save a life with us at Rwanda Medical Academy.